What's up, you guys? Good morning, everyone. Woo! Cooking in the kitchen. Or should I pull a mini and say hello and good morning? Oh, hello and good morning, everyone. That's right. Welcome to the kitchen. <laughs> Who do we have here? Ooh. Hey, yeah, little Miss Hazy. <laughs> you guys, welcome back to our channel today. You guys, this is our last morning. No, so sad. We're so sad about it. Are you sad about it, Hazy? But you're excited to see your parents, huh? We're so excited. We have some fun plans for that, so make sure you stick around. And if you happen to be new to Jared welcome to our channel. Make sure you subscribe. We have some really fun things right around the corner, and also we have a huge announcement. It is massive. Seriously, like ginormous and huge. And it involves <laughs> all of you. We'll get that Woo! little teaser out there. We're not exactly sure when we announce it. It'll be soon though, so make sure you are subscribed and stay tuned for that. But this morning, Aunt Rudy got up this morning early and I made some <gasps> Oh my goodness. Okay, I haven't shown Hazy yet. I told her, I asked her if she wanted to make cinnamon rolls with me. What did she say? Yes! <laughs> she said yes. So I got up early, made my dough. If you guys are curious, I actually have this whole recipe over on jaredandbert.com. This dough is so versatile. I use this for my rolls, my bread. I add a little more sugar to it and make it for cinnamon rolls. So should we see it? Ooh. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Is that kind of cool? Is that a lot? Also, Mindy, this bowl is so cute. Yeah, I want to know where cute. these Hello. are from. Also, Hazy did my nails this week. So excuse my nails. We're gonna have to maybe touch them up, huh? Yeah. So I have my dough here. It's risen the first time. Hazy, should we wash hands? And then you wanna help me roll out the cinnamon rolls and roll them up? Yes, okay. All right, Hazy, guess what you're gonna do with this? You're gonna punch it. Here, let's get your- What? Here, you're gonna punch the dough. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Punch, 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 punch! <laughs> Is that kind of fun? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now look at what we're gonna do. We're gonna put on, we're gonna take a little vegetable oil. So I like to use oil, you guys, instead of flour. Just so it, and then rub it around your hands. So we do this so, oh yeah, nice and in there. <laughs> so we do this so it doesn't stick. And then you can take it and we're gonna put it in a, in a big ball like this. Yep, kind of bunch it up. Is it warm? Yes, I like it. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. <laughs> so now we're gonna knead it one more time. Yeah. So guess how you knead? You go like this, and then you push in with your heel of your hand. Yep, like that. And then you fold it, and then push it with the, your hand. Yep, just like that. Perfect. So we're gonna, job, Hazy. we're gonna knead this for a little bit. We thought it would be so fun this morning yeah. to have cinnamon <laughs> rolls with the cinnamon. <laughs> 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 Love it. <laughs> She's the cutest. <laughs> okay, we're gonna roll this up and then I cleaned off the countertop. We're gonna roll it on the countertop. So we're gonna do a big square like this. Aunt Brittany's gonna kind of do this a little bit. So we stretch it out. Okay, you wanna use your big muscles and roll it out for me? Oh my goodness, good job. Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect, yeah, that looks so that good. Way. Oh my goodness, have you guys ever seen a better roller? <laughs> oh, it's like a pizza. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> right, so on your face. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> you wanna try? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Throw it over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little heavy. It's a little heavy, huh? It's a lot of dough. We got our dough all rolled out, huh? Looks awesome. Now we're gonna spread on some butter. Do you wanna help me spread it? Yeah. It's kind of like a paintbrush. <laughs> oh, good job. I have a different kind of house. I'm actually gonna just do this too. Everything's better with butter. <laughs> <laughs> and when it comes to cinnamon rolls, it really is. So this is like a, not quite a half a stick of butter. I'm gonna just rub this all over. And then what I like to do with mine is I actually use brown and white sugar. But first I always put on the cinnamon to see how much cinnamon goes on. And like I said, I actually did a full YouTube video on this as well. We will link that down below, huh? Yeah. And now that the butter's all out. This can help too. Oh yeah. But to grease it. Oh, oh my it. gosh. That's perfect. <laughs> Your mommy's taught you that, huh? <laughs> Freddie's doing it not the right way. Maybe we should just let Haiti teach us. Yeah. 
I'll put on the cinnamon and then you're gonna put on the sugar, okay? Okay. And we're just gonna sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh my goodness. So wow. on the table. Yeah, that's okay. We'll clean it all up. Hey, did you know you're sweeter than sugar? Oh! <laughs> Just taking the handful. Okay, so and then like, spread it all out. Be like a lot of sugar. And then go like this to get it off your hands. That's perfect. And now we're gonna put on some brown sugar, okay? Again. Do you know what brown sugar is? Oh okay, yeah, this. Yeah. Get some like this. Just a little bit, and then you just sprinkle it like that. Perfect. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Perfect. So we got all of our sugar on. Lots of sugar, huh, Hazy? That's what yeah. makes them so delicious. Now we're gonna roll them up. <gasps> so, what? And I'm just gonna roll it and tuck it like this. Oh. And then it, that's what makes it the cinnamon roll. And do you like take some pieces, like rip it off, and like cut it with the this, uh -huh. and then you like, and then you roll it. Mm-hmm, exactly. Nice. Yep, will you help me? Good job. Good helper. Roll it kind of tight. Oh my gosh, this is one big cinnamon roll. <laughs> yeah, you big chunky one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have a big chunky one? That's like a big burrito. Big burrito, big boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <It's like> <laughs> so you guys, this makes at least 12 big cinnamon rolls. You can make them smaller if you want. So what I like to usually do is kind of measure an inch each one, and then that way I kind of know how many I have. So, Hazy, I'm gonna mark these, and then, Hazy, remember what we cut them with, what I told yeah. you? Floss! We use floss to cut them. <laughs> so you pull it like this, and then you just pull it tight. This is gonna be a baby cinnamon roll. Aww. <laughs> a little runt. So you guys, I just measured out 16 of these. 16, about one inch cinnamon rolls. Okay, Hazy, you wanna pull it? Yeah. So you just pull it kind of like a shoelace. Pull it tight. Good job! Perfect, Hazy, that was Good awesome. And guys, here's a little tip. With where the seam is right here, the end, turn those inside so they all bake together and they don't unravel on the outside. Cover them and let them rise one more time for about 30 minutes. And then we're gonna pop them in the oven. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna make just cream cheese frosting, which is just cream cheese, some butter, vanilla, powdered sugar, and a little milk. And again, the whole recipe is on jerrybert.com. Just type in cinnamon rolls and you will find those. So, our, do we do a good job? Yeah! <laughs> While those are rising, Aunt Brittany needs to do a little bit of cleaning. Mindy left the house absolutely spotless and it's my goal to have it all clean for them when they get back. I went last night to the store, I grabbed some new fresh flowers for them. I picked up some more milk and I grabbed some Diet Dr. Pepper because I may have drinking all of theirs that was in the fridge, so I replaced that. I have laundry going right now, I need to go finish folding, but all in all, the kids kept the house really clean. I've been picking up as we go, so it's not too crazy, but you guys, this has been so so much fun. I'm gonna miss these guys so stinking much. It's yeah. been, have you had a ton of fun? Yeah. I know, we have done so many fun things. If you have missed any of our previous videos from this week, make sure you go back and watch them. So you guys, the plan for today is Brandon and Minnie were so sweet. They know we only have a limited amount of time here in Utah. And so they are ready for Rye Guy to babysit while Jared and I can run and do a couple things we need to do for our house. Many of you guys know I also have family that live here, so we were hoping to be able to at least say hi to a few of them as well. And of course, we want to go see Papa's grave while we're here, visit with Mana a little bit more. So 
wants to do. So they said, hey, listen, right guy can totally hold down the fort until we get home tonight. Good news is I think we're gonna be able to meet with Brandon and Mindy tomorrow to say bye to them and also to see their beautiful new house they are building, which I have never seen it. And I think that's gonna make saying bye to these sweet kiddos a lot easier knowing that we'll see them tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm just trying to get their room ready because I want it to be nice and ready for when they get home as well. So I'm gonna finish things up there and then I think our cinnamon roll should be just about done. All right, we just made the frosting. Hazy got to lick the feeders, which were delicious. I just gave Kruby mm -hmm. a taste. What do you think, dude? So good, so good. You guys had the poison test, of course, you know, yeah, make sure it was okay. Yeah. Test, yeah. Oh my gosh, the cinnamon rolls are starting to rise. Think about another Nelson. minute. Nelson. Yep. Sounds like good. I know they're gonna get do you think we need to poison test the entire bowl? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you do. It's Perfect. Ooh, cinnamon rolls. Look how good those look. Hello, yes please. Ooh, you want to help frost? Okay. Ooh, check those out. They smell good. Mmm. Mm. All right, now the best part. You put the frosting on while it's warm. It's all mm. dolled, and then do you want to spread it? Hi guys, we got our cinnamon rolls right here. This is their first time having Brittany's cinnamon rolls, I believe. Is that right? Are you guys gonna be honest with how they taste? Yes. Sure. Okay. Okay. I actually do want an honest opinion real quick. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you all taste it? Tell me what you think. <laughs> Ooh, they're Ooh. really soft. Yeah, they're yeah, soft. They're really soft. Do you guys like soft ones? Oh, okay, we got a first spice here. Oh you like it? Good. You really like it? Really good? My feelings if not. It's good? Wait, what? Did you yeah! Best cinnamon roll, baby! How do you like it, Hazy? What do you think, Chef Hazy? It's really good. It's really good? Again, if you guys want this recipe, just go to jaredandbrit.com. We will put a link for it as well in the video below. <laughs> but pretty much we have our house here and then we have our firm out in Florida. Yes. And we are going right now out to the house, which we are so excited about. <laughs> it's been so long since we have been there and seen it, but we are meeting with a contractor that is coming to give us a bid on our yard. Because the time has come to put in the yard. The front yard and side yard is actually already in. You guys haven't even seen that yet. We actually haven't even seen the yard in person yet, so yeah. that'll be great to see the front yard all done. But we want to finish the backyard and now it's not gonna be anything crazy we just really want to get some grass in there our neighbors have moved in now and so we're gonna be putting up a fence which is awesome yeah we can't wait about but we would love to get the yard done first so that way they don't have to like rip down the fence to put in the yard and everything like that anyways we'll explain more once we get there this was the only time that the guy could meet so we're sneaking away really quick from the kids but then we'll be back to say our goodbye All right, guys, we just got to our house right now. We are here. <laughs> I know, check this out. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. So this is like, we've seen this in pictures, but never in person before. This is so good. Look at this. Look, we got little bushes right here. Here is where we would love your guys' thoughts. The yes. Backyard. So all the dirt you see, minus right there, all of this section right here, this is our backyard. So we need your guys' help on what we should do with the backyard. We're not entirely sure. We're thinking maybe put in like a little patio area right there. Here's the plan. We just met with the contractor and this is what we're thinking right now. So as you can tell, the back patio door comes out right here. We're thinking of doing a little walkway to connect to the patio. Yeah. 
we have the house plumbed with gas for a gas grill. So we kind of do like the grill, eventually put in like a little kitchenette area. Mm -hmm. And then starting at the back of the house, right here, kind of, we're thinking about to about here, over doing like pavers. Yeah. Brandon and Mindy's house. We were watching the kids and we went back there and kind of had s'mores and stuff. Brittany and I were so talking, we're like, fun. this is awesome. We need to do something like this for our own place. Yeah, so we we're thinking maybe doing something like that right here. And then grass will be all along the exterior and all down the side of the house. I know, so we really need your guys' help and an opinion right here. I'm gonna take the drone up actually and try to get an idea of like, kind of like the lay of the land, but we want your guys' help. Like, should we do like, Pavers right here, like a little strip right there, and then like a big patio area there with the gas grill. Or should we do it back in this corner? And all or should we do it back in this corner and have all that grass? Exactly. The thing is, is that right there is the gas grill, so something should be over there. I am thinking though, eventually once we have kids and we are living here, yeah, like we'll want an area for kids to play in and everything. Yeah. Like so which we thought like this whole side yard is just so big, you know? Yeah. We obviously need some grass for little finners. Yeah, that's true. For yeah, for sure. But you guys, we also are probably gonna need to put in a retaining wall right here. Kind of hard to see, but it does slope down right here and it's really like deep down there and then we're pretty high up right here where we're at. So you can definitely see it better here. So see how much lower it goes all the way down and then right there it's like really, really low and Brittany's way up there. So we're thinking we're gonna have to put in a retaining wall at least up to there and make it level because if we put in a fence right here, I can still see the backyard. I can see Brittany perfectly almost. <laughs> but if we have a retaining wall and then the fence is here, it gives us a little bit more privacy. So obviously we are so excited to get the yard put in everything, but you guys are probably thinking, you guys don't even live here. Why are you putting in a yard? I know. So we actually have an exciting house update yes. for you that we've been waiting to share, <laughs> but now seems like the good time. As many of you guys know, we will link a video here, but our plan has always been to come out to Utah quite a bit, yeah. visit family. As you guys know, we always have family out visiting us. Yeah, it's mostly the family coming in to visit us. Yes. For for sure, for sure. <laughs> but recently, Jared did get a church calling that required him to be back and forth yep. quite a bit. So Which is why our trip here is so short. I know, we actually have to get back because of that. So that kind of threw in a little wrench, you could say. So we just feel like something else has fallen kind of perfectly into place, which yes. is Crazy. This is a tender mercy because as you guys know, our place is sits here by itself, which we don't really like. I know, we did not like yeah. that at all. We have some family friends that mm -hmm. we knew needed a place, so they are actually here, you guys, taking yeah. care of the place which for us. Which is amazing because they're super flexible, which is awesome for us. So when we do decide to move back here to Utah to hopefully raise our family yes. here, sooner than later, yes, we please. will have our place. But in the meantime, <laughs> our house is getting taken care yes, of. Yes, that way we don't have to worry about the grass being mowed and all that stuff and just like water running. Yes. As you guys know, we ran into frozen pipes. Yes, so <laughs> I know so many of you are like, how can you just let an empty house sit know, there? And I the know. more we thought about it, and then with Jared's yep. calling with the church and everything, it just made sense and things on the place. Yeah. So our house is getting taken care of, you guys. Yes. Super oh, exciting. This does mean if they are still here when we come to visit, we yes. get to stay with Mana Joe. Yes. We absolutely love that <laughs> so much. But when the time does come to move back here, you guys, our house will be here. I know. It is getting taken such good care of. We I know. know the people. Yep. We absolutely love them. So yeah. it kind of has just worked out awesome. you guys and we should also say how much we absolutely love Florida I know so many of you guys love our Florida vlogs yeah we love oh, us yeah. there of course you guys know we love it there so all in all I think it's a perfect situation for right now yeah. we saw places to come stay here we want our house is getting taken care of well when the security for me that's a huge factor. yeah that's I mean huge. it's a safe neighborhood but still when people know that there's an empty house sitting there with full yes. of our stuff and when it works yeah. both for both of us and them it's just yeah. perfect so that is awesome mm -hmm. you guys I'm sure you're wondering are you gonna be seeing Britt's brother that lives right around the corner. Heck we, yeah, baby! We are, as soon as we are done with the kids, we will be spending a little bit of time with them 
and then we actually have a family dinner with my family tomorrow before we take mm -hmm. off as well so we will get a little bit of time in this time so that'll be awesome the kids are going to lunch right now we just heard with Minnie's parents so while they are there we are gonna run and see sweet Papa we have not had a chance to make it up to his grave yet so we're gonna go do that right now and I should say this really quick in case you're wondering no that is not our big announcement that is, <laughs> no that is just an announcement we decided you know what it makes sense to say that right now but no that is not our big announcement so make sure you stay tuned for that one Okay, you guys, we just got done visiting my cute pops with my mom. It was awesome. It was, I absolutely loved it. I know, we were so happy we were able to stop by there. We brought him a little flower since we weren't able to make it for Memorial Day. Yeah. We just love it up there. It's so peaceful. and it's Super peaceful. We went on a little walk, which was fun. She had Louie, which yes. was even cool. So sweet. Yeah. But you guys, I think we are going to cut today's vlog off right here. Yeah, this will be part one. Yes, part one. We just saw so long, we have so much left that we need to do today i know and it's all good stuff yeah so. it's all great stuff we so, don't want to cut anyone short yeah so make sure you come back tomorrow you guys we have more fun in store today which you will be seeing <laughs> yeah and again you guys we just love you all so much yeah. thanks for being excited for us with our time here in utah we have absolutely loved it <laughs> we love all of you and we'll see you all tomorrow see you guys love you bye, bye.